Before we continue, I thought this chart would be helpful for those of you who are unsure if you're cool or warm. So pause this part and take a look, and I'll see you on the flip side. I know um, choosing the right shade can be one of the biggest challenges when shopping for makeup. So I know it can be a little overwhelming, so um, naturally you're going to know if you're fair, medium, or dark. So hopefully the guy in the beginning of the video kind of helped you out to determine if you're warm or cool. So when you're picking a shade for your skin tone, you're going to just keep in mind that lighter is better. Having fair skin, like myself, you don't want to use anything that's too overwhelming for your skin. The best shades for fair skin are going to be corals, peaches, light roses, light pinks, um, but not anything too loud, again, because the skin is so fair, so light, and it's porcelain-like, you don't want any you know, loud colors going on. So I'm just going to show you a few examples. Uh, this is uh, Tickled Pink from e.l.f. As you can see, even on my hand right here, it's very, very light. So this would be perfect if you're going for a really, really natural look. And next would be NARS, and this is Orgasm. There's that. You can kind of see this one's more of the, has a peach undertone in it. This one is Fresh Face from So Glamorous Cosmetics. This one I actually have on, and it comes in a little jar like this. I'll swatch this one for you. So, as you can see, all three of these are really, really light. They're not too, you know, overpowering. This is actually the most common skin tone among women. When shopping, you want to keep in mind, anything too light can make you look ashy, and anything too dark can make you look clownish. The undertones in your skin can have a big impact on what shade is best for you. If you are warm tone, red, corals, and hot pinks will look best for you. So, for example, Still Glamorous Doll Face blush, and this is the Pigment Blushes. This is also another Still Glamorous Pigment Blush. This one is really, really gorgeous. It's a brighter pink. This is... This looks awesome on medium skin tones. that and also if you have this skin tone you're kind of lucky because you can get away with the more brighter funner colors and cool undertones look better with peach or rose blushes um, and I'll swatch this one is wet n wild heather silk and this is a great rose color it's a little bit deeper it's a gorgeous color. I even wear this on my fair skin, but I have to use a super light hand because that can um, oop, be overwhelming on this skin. Uh, but yeah, those are these are some really great colors for this middle one would be great for more of a natural look, and then these two here, if you want to, you know, if you're going out at night or something like that, you want a bolder look. Um, colors like this will be great. The best blush for darker skin is definitely going to be something that is a little bit more brighter. You definitely want to stay away from colors that are too light. Bright and richly pigmented blushes are going to work best for you. Peachy, apricots, paprika, um, red browns are going to look awesome on you. Like a cinnamon pink um, is going to look great for your skin. So I also have some examples. Anything with a red in it is going to look awesome on you. Um, and this is actually, this one is called Redwood, and it is a blush from Still Glamorous Cosmetics. It's super, the, the awesome thing about these, I don't know if well, I already did it, but you can see they're super pigmented. Swatch that for you. There's that. And another shade is going to be like an apricot, but more of a, a deeper, warm apricot. And this is Breathless from Still Glamorous Cosmetics. And again, I don't know, 
see super super pigmented um, this would be great for like a natural look you can see there and that one actually has a, this first one was matte this one has a nice glow to it and as far as like choosing a pink goes you want something that's more warmer again and has like a cinnamon you're gonna want something warmer this is cinnamon rose and I have my fingers left here You can even go to um, like a makeup counter and ask, request samples and kind of um, play with different colors. Don't be afraid of color. And also, I think it's important to keep in mind, blush should only just give you like a natural glow. Um, again, you don't want to look clownish. You don't want to use a heavy hand. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Happy Blush shopping. Good luck. I'll see you guys later.